number 29. Given that a is equal to three, the square root of 363 and b is equal to the square root of 27, explain, so that means I'm going to have to write out some words, why a plus b is irrational. So if they're telling me that a plus b is irrational, let's go ahead and look at what that number is going to look like, right? So a is the square root of 363, and then the square root of 27 is b. So let's go ahead and put that in our calculator and see what that looks like. I'm going to have the square root of 363, plus, be careful entering this into your calculator, right? We don't want the 363 and the square root of 27 to be under the same radical. They're under two different radicals and they're being added. Okay, so make sure when you enter this into your calculator, it looks like this. So your answer would be 24.24871130. That is certainly an irrational number. The reason why it's irrational is because there is no pattern in the decimal places that repeats. And if I wanted to double check that it was irrational, I could highlight that number hit enter and see if any more digits come up past the 306. And they certainly do. I now have 305965, again, non-repeated. This is an irrational number. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in, 1. Three zero six, and then I'm going to put a dot, dot, dot at the end, meaning that it keeps going on and it does not repeat. I would say that A plus B is irrational because when they are added together, the sum is a decimal that does not repeat and does not terminate. Terminate is a fancy math word for end. Okay. And then in part B, or I guess in the second part, they're not really labeled, it says explain, so I'm going to have to use my words again, explain why A times B is rational. So let's go ahead and take A, let's multiply it by B, and see what we get in our calculator. So I'm going to go back up and highlight this, right? Work smart, not hard. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm not working smart. Delete that. <laughs> um, and I'm going to change the operation in between the two from addition to multiplication. What does this look like? Oh, the answer is 99. So the square root of 363 times the square root of 27 is equal to 99. So our answer would be A times B is rational because the product, aka what results when you multiply the two numbers together, is a rational number, 99, which can be written as a fraction or ratio of two integers. Both are acceptable. They could write as a fraction or as a ratio of two integers. This is the nicer answer, but this also gets you full credit.